Yo, what's everyone? My name is Jet. Welcome back to an episode of Inside the Lines. Hope you're having a wonderful day. This is a double upload. We uploaded a video earlier today talking about a new NASCAR fan that's developing some controversy and NASCAR and Honda rumors heating up very nicely. Today we got one story to talk about. It's a quickie about the most popular driver still in NASCAR today in Dale Earnhardt Jr. Now after he retired, he spent from 2018 until last year uh, working with NBC Sports as a commentator for their NASCAR coverage at the second half of the season. But for 2024, he mentioned in his podcast that he doesn't have a contract signed up for 2024 with NBC, now, which surprised a lot of people and had a lot of people worried. Well, it looks like it has been confirmed that Junior will be leaving NBC, confirming that 2023 was his final year. From The Athletic, Andrew Marshline reported that Dale Jr. will be taking a year off. He will be taking a year off from commentating for 2024 and in 2025 will set to be partnering with Amazon Prime as well as TNT Sports or Warner Brothers Discovery Sports, however you want to call it, to provide NASCAR coverage for those two companies. So instead of 16 races per year, we'll be getting to see Jr. will be down to just 10. Now, Jr. apparently informed NBC of his decision last week and he is flexible to to partner with either Fox or NBC to do even more races at this moment in time. There have been no talks between the two parties. As for my thoughts on this, let's first start off with, is this surprising? No. Uh, again, when Junior said on his podcast that he doesn't have a contract for 24 was kind of shocking to a lot of people considering that, hey, I mean, NASCAR starts in July. You kind of want to get started with maybe, you know, prepping up for the broadcast. So it was a bit weird for it to be for him to still not have a contract for this year. It's also weird considering the fact that you look at the Dale Jr. download, lost speedways, they were either canceled or they weren't up for uh, for renewal by Peacock, which is NBC's streaming service, kind of led some signals. On top of that, with Jr. being more open about with the broadcasting, for example, um, him uh, talking about Fox and their camera shots and things like that, just being more open and more critical of how Fox or NBC broadcasting the NASCAR races kind of led to speculation that, okay, there's this is a sign that he may not return with NBC next year. But let's talk about the good. The good in this is two things. Number one, Dill Jr. himself. Him going to Prime and WBD Sports, meaning a lot of money for Junior. We know how much Amazon Prime paid Al Michaels and Kirk Herbstreit for their Thursday Night Football coverage, and especially with those two companies, either with you know TNT coming back to NASCAR and Amazon making the jump to NASCAR for the first time, you know those two companies want to establish credibility. And you cannot establish more credibility in NASCAR than to have Dale Jr. representing your company. So for Junior to go to those two companies gives those two companies instant credibility. And I think it also means that Amazon and TNT are going to try and work the broadcast around Junior. Junior, like I said, following Atlanta, mentioned a lot of things about the camera shots and things like that, what you should and shouldn't do, how you should put on a race. I guarantee you that with Amazon Prime, especially having no knowledge of NASCAR, are going to rely heavily on Junior as to how they should portray the broadcast so that the viewer is entertained and also informed. So you have that. Junior gets more of a say in things with these two companies. He could also maybe throw in the fact that, number one, he gets more money and also maybe he wants to spend less time, wants to spend maybe more time with his kids, with his family. I'm just speculating there. Uh, and also, also for him to extend an olive branch with Dirty Mo Media. Again, I talked about with the Dale Jr. Download and Lost Speedways were canned by Peacock. Maybe, you know, him going to Amazon Prime could develop a relationship or HBO Max, one of the two companies. Junior could develop a further relationship and have... Dirty Mo Media be pre presented on both their platforms. So you have that to consider. Now let's talk about with NBC. This is a big loss by NBC. I don't know, again, if, N if NBC walked out on Junior or Junior walked out on then, but if that's the case, if NBC let Junior go, it is a major loss. 2015 to 2017 was Rick Allen, Steve Latar, and Jeff Byrne. And it was, eh. I mean, it wasn't bad, but it was just, eh. Junior in 2018 helped that booth tremendously, gave it a lot of credibility, gave it just, it, it, it just made the broadcast more fun. I would, Junior is like our Benny Parsons of NASCAR in terms of commentating, just helped the broadcasting booth a lot when NBC took over in 2018 with Junior. Him leaving, now there's a big hole in that booth. And I just don't think with the current staff that they have right now, with Jeff Burns, Steve Latron, those guys, I don't think they can keep up 
the the standard that Junior uh, brought into uh, the NBC booth. With him gone, now Jeff Burns got to do a lot more work. He's got to talk more, which is not good news if you're a NASCAR fan because it can be a bit annoying. But that's just my opinion. How NBC will handle Junior's absence is interesting. Could they revert back to just the traditional three-man booth? Could they maybe keep instituting the four-man booth and bring in a guy like Dale Jarrett, who I think is a very underrated commentator? I wouldn't recommend Kyle Petty, but I would like to see Dale Jr. in the booth. I think he'd be a great addition if NBC wants to keep that four-man team. But I'm very interested in seeing how NBC deals with this. Now, let's go back to the Amazon Prime and uh, the WBD sports deal with Junior. So, Junior was adamant on saying that he wants to be at the track. He doesn't want to do what Fox does with their truck series coverage and have them uh, you know, broadcast a race from a studio in Charlotte. I think with Junior going on board with Amazon Prime and TNT, I think that further could further confirm that they're going to be airing the races at the racetrack. The reason why I say that is because NASCAR, they built their whole brand new production studio in Charlotte. On top of that, with Amazon Prime and Turner taking over the practice and qualifying uh, schedule of the NASCAR Cup Series, and we consider how condensed practice and qualifying is. It's not like it's two, three, one hour practice sessions and an hour of qualifying. It's one hour of practice and qualifying and that's it. When I heard about that, that NBC and WBD Sports would take over the practice of qualifying because of how small practice of qualifying is, I was afraid that, okay, we may see them do it remotely. With Junior coming on board, we don't know if he's going to be joining both practice and qualifying for their broadcasting sessions, wouldn't make me tend to believe that they're going to be at the racetrack. Kind of do how they do with uh, the Speed Channel when they had practice and qualifying, they had their guys at the track. So with that, I'm interested in seeing how Amazon and WBD Sports also build the broadcast around Junior, not only in terms of the production, the graphics, but also the other commentators. I'm just saying Alan Bestwick is there. Somebody, Amazon, Turner Sports, please pick him up. He's been waiting, waiting for someone to take him, please. So yeah, it is a major, major plus for Amazon and for WBD Sports and for NBC which sounds like they let Junior go, like they let him walk away. This is a major, major loss. And I, again, NBC's good, but they were a lot better with Junior. And now that he's gone, um, I don't know if the broadcast is going to be able to keep up that standard without Junior. But what are your thoughts on this story? Let me know in the comment section down below. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more content. Until next time, my name is Jet from MBK. Thanks for watching.